remember these claims? The champions of Bitcoin ask us to imagine payments without a middleman, investments without a broker, loans without a bank, insurance without an underwriter. Pretty good film. But let's be honest, 10 years after the original invention, almost none of this has actually happened. But back in 2014, I met the kid who knew how to do it. Hi, I'm uh, Vitalik Buterin, uh, co-founder of uh, Bitcoin Magazine, founder of Ethereum, and just general Bitcoin and cryptocurrency advocate. Just 19 years old, Vitalik was on a mission to make money programmable. V Vitalik is a very, very smart guy. The thing about Vitalik is he was pushed away from Bitcoin because he had gone to uh, Bitcoin core developers and tried to build Ethereum on top of Bitcoin and... And they basically said, nope, not interested. So he built a separate blockchain called Ethereum with its own currency called Ether. A comparison might be Bitcoin is like a spreadsheet and Ethereum is like a spreadsheet with macros. We have Torsten Hoffman, who's the producer of the Cryptopia film. Thanks, Peter. Five years ago, I made a film about the history of money, banking, and Bitcoin. And of all the predictions I heard, only one guy got it right. Buckle up, he said. It's going to be a bumpy ride. And now, some of the big brains and big egos who champion cryptocurrency claim they are building a crypto utopia. Magical things will happen with something called blockchain technology, and it just might change your life. And they really could compete with, if not even take down, the Facebooks and the Googles and the Amazons. My name is Torsten Hoffman, and in this documentary, I'm going to put some of these claims to the test. So guys like you will build a better future, and we can trust you guys better than the bankers. This innovation has enabled a lot of criminals and scammers. But basically, looking at it now, you, you lie to us. Forget all the hype we'll explore the true potential of this new invention. See who is already using it. Making it really easy and simple for people to own a piece of a solar farm or a wind farm. And go deep into a secret bunker. Rumored to hold billions in Bitcoin. And we cannot talk too much about it because it's a pretty secret what is down there, right? And if Bitcoin succeeds, it will be at least a million dollars per coin. But there are those who want to kill it. Join with me in introducing a bill to outlaw cryptocurrency so that we nip this in the bud. Control it. Next year, people are going to start seeing that we have hundreds of patents and everything changes. Or change the world with it. Welcome to the battle for the future of the Internet. Web 3.0. They wanted a science fiction dream. What they actually did was build a forthcoming disaster. A lot of people were not willing to learn and were not willing to admit they were wrong. They're idiots. Why is this fraud allowed to speak at this conference? Stop telling me that I have no clues. That's just bullshit. If you don't support free speech, you don't support Bitcoin. You're an enemy of Bitcoin. This is bigger than the internet, the Iron Age, the Renaissance, the Industrial Revolution. This affects the entire world in a faster way than you ever imagined. doing is we're saying we have this Ethereum network. Inside the Ethereum network there's this asset called Ether and we're actually going to be selling Ether. We're going to be selling Ether at a rate of 1,000 to 2,000 Ether for one Bitcoin and that's how we're going to raise all the money. It worked. Vitalik figured out a way to fund the Ethereum project and it made his investors rich. <laughs> 